Namaste, uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is Dr. Aparna. I am your emotional healing synergist. I am an Ayurvedic psychotherapist, a passionate infopreneur, edupreneur, and medical writer. In my pursuit of addressing, promoting, and propagating Ayurveda and psychotherapy globally, I discuss uh, various topics related to Ayurveda, psychotherapy, mental health thrice a week. So uh, today's session is a continuation session on generalized anxiety disorder that we discussed in the last uh, session day before. And uh, uh, in that session, we had discussed what is generalized anxiety disorder, what is normal level of anxiety, and what is generalized anxiety disorder, what causes generalized anxiety disorder, what are the symptoms, and, uh, you know, the full cycle of GAD. So today we are going to discuss GAD management, that is how we are managing, how are we managing a generalized anxiety disorder. So uh, let's get started without wasting any time. So generalized anxiety disorder, just this is for just a recap for individuals, for people who missed, uh, you know, the last uh, session. So uh, you can um, check the last session. Uh, the links will be uh, given in the description. Thank you. So generalized anxiety disorder, as we have already discussed, is a mental health condition. It is characterized by excessive and persistent worry, which we call as anxiety about various aspects of life, whatever it may be, whether it is professional, whether it is personal. And even, and that is even when there is no or little reason to be concerned, there is no specific reason to be concerned. That means the worry, the excessive and the persistent worry is irrational. It is not rational. So uh, last week we had discussed the full cycle of, in the last session we had discussed the full session of, uh, you know, the full cycle of GAD. So I'll just, uh, for the recap, before going to the management, See, onset and triggers. So what happens is in generalized anxiety disorder typically develops uh, gradually. This is, uh, this is a gradual uh, development. And it can be triggered by uh, the way the anxiety can be triggered by various factors. It might be stressful life events. It may be family history of anxiety disorders or it may be a combination of biological, psychological, and environmental factors. So next is where after the, after the onset and the triggers, symptoms. The symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder can vary from person to person. But common manifestations, what are the common manifestations? Is excessive worry, restlessness difficulty concentrating, irritability, muscle tension, sleep disturbances, physical symptoms like headaches or uh, even uh, it might have gut imbalances that is stomach aches or abdominal pains or nausea etc. And it impacts the daily life. What is the major issue here in GAD that uh, uh, you know clients with GAD have is GAD can significantly impair an individual's ability to function in daily life, affecting their work, affecting their school, affecting their relationships, and affecting the affecting the overall well-being. So uh, diagnosis, then comes the diagnosis. So to diagnose generalized anxiety disorder, a mental health professional, a psychotherapist or a psychiatrist will conduct a comprehensive evaluation considering the individual symptoms, medical history and underlying conditions. So then after the diagnosis comes the treatment and management. Management of GAD involves a multifaceted approach. So mul we do multiple things in treating when we treat generalized anxiety disorder. It often includes therapy. 
therapy is the best therapy for anxiety uh, you in practice is cbt that is cognitive behavioral therapy is commonly used to help cbt is commonly used to help individuals identify and change negative thought patterns and develop coping strategies so next after therapy people may use medications so antidepressants and anti anxiety medications may be prescribed so i personally i don't prefer using medications so medications will skip the medication part if you go to a psychiatrist maybe they might prescribe for you know um, intensity the depending on the intensity of the anxiety medications may be prescribed definitely we go for lifestyle changes that is encouraging you know uh, exercises eating healthy these are all the common things like stress management techniques and majorly sufficient sleep sleep is most importantly affected in people's uh, in people having anxiety so sufficient sleep can contribute to symptom reduction so next is support network and what we do is um, tell them to build a strong support network of friends family support groups so what i um, you know talked about is the full cycle of gad what happens is the onset and triggers the symptoms and what is the uh, impact on daily life the diagnosis the treatment the therapy the lifestyle changes the support support network so this is in brief of what what is a full the full cycle of anxiety i will also explain the cycle with case studies before that we will see in detail what is the what could be the management of generalized anxiety disorder see the management of gad often involves a combination of psychotherapy psychotherapy means talk therapy or other techniques to help individuals cope with their anxiety so the important techniques are as i said cognitive behavioral therapy the best therapy is cbt cognitive behavioral therapy is one of the most widely used and evidence based therapies uh, for gad it focuses on identifying and challenging negative thought patterns so first it identifies what it does it it focuses on identifying and challenging whatever the negative thought patterns are there first we fo focus on identifying it then challenging it and then replacing them with more balanced and realistic thoughts so we are replacing worry uh, uh, worry with other positive thoughts and actions so realistic you know real with realism or realistic approach so this helps individual gain a better perspective on their worries and reduces their anxiety so what we do is in that majorly is the exposure therapy so exposure therapy as the name itself suggests you are exposing them to the worry or the fear whatever they have this techniques involves gradually and safely exposing individuals to their anxiety triggers in a controlled environment over time repeated exposure helps desensitize desensitize them to the fear and anxiety associated with those triggers we are going to identify the triggers see suppose uh, a person is very anxious about uh, his or her personal uh, professional life so we will identify the uh, trigger there whatever the trigger is why is he so anxious and what we do is we gradually expose him or her to that trigger i will explain it in the case study this is just a brief so we will expose him or her to that trigger so when it when the person is frequently exposed to the fear even in general as well if you have a fear of um, most people some of people might be you know uh, claustrophobic some might have fear of heights even um, 
you know some people have uh, uh, you know uh, dif uh, difficulty in uh, you know uh, water phobia and also um people have different types of fear this is not about the anxiety but in general as well exposure therapy by exposing them to the fear gradually by ladder you know step by step they will get rid of the fear gradually they will be desensitized so we do this exercise this is important this is called exposure therapy and then we teach them mindfulness and relaxation techniques mindfulness practices such as meditation deep breathing exercises can help individuals become more aware of their thoughts and emotions these you know uh, meditation and deep breathing exercises can help individuals become more aware of their thoughts and emotions without you know judgment relaxation techniques can calm the mind and the body reducing all overall anxiety levels so next is the mindfulness and the relaxation techniques so next is um the next therapy is acceptance and commitment therapy act we call it as act a c t so what act does is act encourages individuals to accept their anxious thoughts and feelings while focusing on living a meaningful life according to their values see what it does it it helps individuals develop psychological flexibility and reduces their struggle with anxiety so um act encourages individuals to accept their anxious thoughts and feelings while focusing on living a meaningful life uh, the aim here is to reduce the worry uh, reduce the anxiety and you know uh, the trigger causing anxiety here so um next is problem solving therapy so there is a therapy called problem solving therapy this approach involves teaching individuals systematic problem solving skills to address the issues contributing to their anxiety by breaking down problems and finding constructive solutions individuals can feel more in control and reduce worry so what it does is the problem solving you know we teach there are some problem solving skills you know according to the individual needs again this is customized it is different for different individuals different for different mental health disorder so this addresses the issues contributing to their anxiety so the problem solving skills to address you know the issues contributing to their anxiety and the, to break down the problems into you know to um, fragment the problems and finding constructive solutions so that what can be done if the you know anxiety and uh, the worry is somewhat rational at least if it's somewhat rational so finding constructive solutions and um to feel uh, to make them feel that they are in their control their anxiety is in their control and to reduce uh, the worry so next is important is i have talked it uh, many a times social support uh, and communication skills is engaging with a social support system there are so many support groups uh you know having the similar uh, issues maybe what you are facing maybe what they um they are facing and the group therapies are given and they are made to sit and they are made to share their experiences and how they are coping with it and uh, the coping strategies are provided you know uh you know uh, in general for all so that everybody you know one they can embrace each other's journey so that they don't feel isolated so because to reduce the feelings of isolation and improve coping mechanisms so this and next is as i already said a uh, you know adopting a healthy lifestyle with exercise nutrition sufficient sleep can have you know positive effects on anxiety levels the all these treatment you know 
act differently in different um, individuals. So one may benefit with therapy, one may benefit with lifestyle changes, so one may benefit with mindfulness exercises, one may benefit with exposure therapy. This is different, uh, different to different individuals it is always you know customizable so it is not um, one treatment fits all approach it is different for different people next is if there is any stress stress management techniques and uh, uh, all these are done so it is uh, in all these conditions no it is essential to work with a qualified mental health professional to determine the most you know appropriate and effective treatment plan there should be a treatment plan for managing generalized anxiety disorder see individual needs and preferences may vary and personalized approaches can lead better outcomes in reducing anxiety and improving overall well-being here we are you know uh, our aim is holistic wellness the overall well-being or the holistic health so um in treating you know um generalized anxiety disorder as i said psychotherapy particularly the cognitive behavioral therapy plays a pivotal role why due to its effect you know effectiveness so CBT is a widely recognized form of psychotherapy that focuses on identifying and modifying negative thought patterns and behaviors associated with anxiety. So why is the anxiety caused? We are going into the root cause. I, I'll also talk about that. The therapist works with the individual to cha challenge irrational beliefs and develop healthier coping strategies. So, you know, CBT, um, you know, for, uh, you know, generalized anxiety disorder, what it does is first we identify triggers and thought patterns. So understanding the specific situation or triggers that lead to excessive worry and anxiety is crucial. First, understanding what is causing anxiety is important. Next is the therapist helps the individual identify these triggers and recognize thought patterns that can contribute to their anxiety. And then cognitive restructuring. See, cognitive restructuring is a method in CBT. Cognitive restructuring is, is a process that involves challenging and replacing negative and unrealistic thoughts with more rational and balanced ones. By reframing thoughts, individuals can reduce the intensity of their anxiety. See, thought reframing, cognitive restructuring is also known as thought reframing. So when we reframe the thoughts, the negative or unrealistic thoughts to positive and realistic thoughts, uh, then, you know, um, individuals uh, can reduce the, the intensity of the anxiety in the individuals is reduced. Next is, as I said, exposure and response prevention, ERP. So, gradual exposure to anxiety-provoking situations helps individuals confront their fears. Example, they are worried about, you know, um, engaging in a social gathering or uh, giving a presentation or they are extremely anxious doing that and uh, they avoid doing that. So, what we do is gradual exposure to anxiety-provoking, gradual ex ex exposure to the situation of you know um going and giving a presentation in a social gathering whatever the anxiety the trigger may be so we expose it and what happens is and uh, you know um by exposing it frequently of course gradually um and what they do is they learn that their anxious predictions are often exaggerated see all those uh, you know Predictions are often exaggerated in your mind. Response prevention involves reframing from engaging in anxious behaviors or rituals. So response prevention is, you know, you are exposing the person to that anxiety trigger, but they are not responding as usual by the worry. So what we do is, we break the cycle of, you know, 
um, the anxiety cycle of persistent worry. In this way, um, when the anxiety uh, when the anxiety behaviors are stopped or prevented, that helps this uh, you know break the cycle of anxiety. So this is the first step step like in reducing or managing anxiety disorder and then problem solving skills so as i said learning effective problem solving techniques helps individuals approach challenges in a structured and constructive manner reduce these problem solving techniques you now is different for different individuals it is always customizable and the major thing is addressing the root causes what we do is if we address the root cause it is easy to you know uh, wipe it out from the root cause what is causing anxiety the same is you know told in ayurveda also to to wipe out the disease from its root cause so cbt helps individuals explore and understand the underlying thought patterns what we do is a therapist and the client mutually sit together and we um, you know while talking and history taking we just extract the root cause so um, then what we do is exploring and understanding the underlying thought patterns and beliefs that fuel their anxiety by identifying these root causes they can work towards long term change so and then teaching coping strategies the coping strategies are different for different individuals what are they they're like cbt equips individuals with practical coping skills that can be applied in various situations by learning to manage anxiety through healthier behaviors individuals gain a sense of control over their thoughts and emotions so empowering individuals next is cbt what it does it it empowers individuals to take an active role in their treatment see for every ther uh, therapy talk therapy or uh, cbt or any other psychotherapy the active involvement of the client is also required not only the therapist but also this is a collaborative effect so matlab uh, collaborative effort by learning techniques to challenge negative thoughts and engage in problem solving they develop a sense of self efficacy in managing their anxiety so these produces the long lasting effects so cbt uh, always you know cbt cognitive behavioral therapy aims to produce long lasting changes reducing the likelihood of anxiety recurrence after treatment completion so it is important to note that the best treatment for gd may vary from person to person and individuals should work closely with mental health professionals to find an approach that suits their specific needs and circumstances so the next thing is the case studies let's see i'll give you the three case studies of different individuals and how it is managed and uh, how um, if you have any of the symptoms that are um, that i mentioned in the previous session or if you experience any kind of these which i am mentioning now please approach a mental health professional as soon as possible asap so this is the case let's presume um our uh, you know our client is per p e r per so per is a 32 year old software engineer so who has been experiencing excessive worry about various aspects of his life he has you know worry about his job his finances and his relationships what happens due to this he feels restless and has difficulty concentrating and experiences frequent muscle tension um and alex now is seeking a professional help and starts a comprehensive gd management plan so in case what could be the uh, um you know um anxiety disorder management you know plan for um pair so hamara 
कि पहले के स्टडी में हमारा जो क्लाइंट है हमारे जो क्लाइंट है वो है पेर एक फॉर एग्जाम्पल उनका नाम सो पेर एक सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर है जिनको एक्सेसिव वरी है किस वजह से उनके लाइफ के वजह से और इनके जॉब के वजह से उनके फाइनेंस के वजह से उनके रिलेशनशिप के वजह से अननेसेसरी वरी है उनको जो रैशनल नहीं है उनको रोज उस वरी के कारण ही इज वेरी रेस्टलेस ही स्लीप इज उनका नींद खराब हो चुका है कंसंट्रेट नहीं कर सकते इरिटेबल हो जाते हैं उसकी वजह से उनको शारीरिक सिम्टम्स भी दिखने लगे है जैसे मसल टेंशन स्प्रेन होता है उनको मसल में सो so, वो अभी मेंटल हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल को अप्रोच कर रहे हैं कॉम्प्रहेंसिव एंजाइटी मैनेजमेंट प्लान के लिए सो वॉट हैपन्स इज फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विथ साइकोथेरेपी एज आई सेड पेयर बिगिन विथ सी बी टी कॉग्नेटिव बिहेवियरल थेरेपी विथ अ लाइसेंस थेरेपिस्ट सो क्या क्या होता है ड्यूरिंग द थेरेपी सेशन ही लर्नस टू आइडेंटिफाई हिज एंगजाइटी ट्रिगर्स एंड थॉट पैटर्न ही रियलाइज दैट ही टेंस टू कैटस्ट्रोफाइज सिचुएशन इमेजिनिंग द वर्स्ट केस सिनारियोज सो ड्यूरिंग थेरेपी सेशन उनको उनके ट्रिगर्स के बारे में पता चलता है क्यों उनको एंगजाइटी हो रहा है उनको ये पता चलता है कि वो अननेसेसरीली वर्स्ट केस सिनेरियो को इमेजिन करके मन में वही बैठा के हमेशा उनको उसकी वजह से कंसिस्टेंटली वरी होता है पता नहीं मेरा जॉब का क्या हो जाएगा पता नहीं मेरा लाइफ का क्या हो जाएगा पता नहीं मेरे पैसों का क्या हो जाएगा यू you नो know, पता नहीं रिलेशनशिप्स uh, का क्या हो जाएगा सो so, ऐसे ही द थेरेपिस्ट गाइड्स पेर थ्रू कॉग्नेटिव रीस्ट्रक्चरिंग एक्सरसाइजेस रीस्ट्रक्चरिंग एक्सरसाइजेस इज मेकिंग हिम रियलाइज दैट दीज वरीज आर इैशन हेल्पिंग हिम चैलेंज एंड रीप्लेस दिस नेगेटिव थॉट्स विथ मोर बैलेंस्ड एंड रियलिस्टिक वंस सो कुछ केसेस में मेडिकेशन दी जा सकती है वी आर स्कीपिंग द मेडिकेशन पार्ट बिकॉज आई डोंट Uh, you know generally use medication without non pharmacological approach my approach is always non pharmacological so the next is lifestyle changes so pair it prayer is advised to you know adopt healthier uh, healthier lifestyle healthy sleep pattern healthy eating pattern and um, exercises meditation mindfulness practices so what he does is he starts practicing mindfulness uh, meditation and deep breathing exercises to manage stress and promote relaxation you can start from actually 10 to 15 minutes 10 se 15 minute tak aap meditation ya mindful exercises ya deep breathing exercises ko shuru kar sakte hain from this what happens is uh, you you have more control on your anxiety and worry and stress so this promotes relaxation so pair incorporates regular exercises into uh, his routine so may, whatever it may be walking jogging swimming or uh, dancing whatever it may be to improve his mood or going to gym or doing yoga whatever it may be to improve his mood and reduce anxiety physical exercise also plays an important uh, you know role in uh, improving the mood and reducing anxiety and next is making dietary adjustment you know uh, avoiding alcohol avoiding tobacco avoiding more caffeine that is reduced caffeine intake one to three cups of coffee is fine more anything more than that reduce excessive sugar intake all these cause you know a, a, cause and can exacerbate anxiety that means increase anxiety so next what we do is after all this what we do is a support network we tell a pair to you know open up and share his feelings with the trusted ones maybe trusted family members or trusted friends and next to build a support network when you go to a therapist there are support groups you know as i said to share your Uh, experiences your feelings your thoughts your worries and embracing your journey with you know collective coping strategies they will share their stories you can share yours so they offer understanding and provide a safe space for him to express his emotions 
इस तरह से हम हाँ सारी मतलब आ, एक फुल साइकिल होता है एंजाइटी मैनेजमेंट का साइकोथेरेपी लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस माइंडफुलनेस प्रैक्टिस यू नो एक्सरसाइज फूड द न्यूट्रिशन एंड सपोर्ट नेटवर्क ऑल दीज वी डू आई एक्सप्लेन टू मोर एग्जांपल्स और सेकंड यू नो our uh, second uh, uh, client let's presume this client's name is strawberry so strawberry is a 26 year old graphic designer who has been experiencing generalized anxiety disorder since her teenage years matlab jab se wo 16 17 years ki thi she has been experiencing generalized anxiety disorder so what is that she worries excessively uh, about her performance at work and social situations she often um, she what is her, her worry she is always worried about her work performance that it might go bad or the worried about the worst case scenarios and social presentations so um, you know and about the professional social gatherings so she often avoids gatherings due to her anxiety what it does it is impacting her daily life she uh, she is avoiding her you know uh, gatherings due to her anxiety so here strawberry's uh, generalized anxiety disorder management plan also involves a mixed therapy so what we do is psychotherapy lifestyle changes support network all of these so what we do is in psychotherapy a strawberry undergoes the cbt with a therapist specializing in anxiety disorder so through therapy she identifies her negative thought patterns and including a fear of judgment and rejection she uh, rejection so she is always fear uh, fear and worried about she always has a fear and worry about the judgment and the rejection at the workplace at of her performance at work so what it is doing is it is um, hampering her daily life or productivity the tension or the worry and the anxiety which is persistent it is uh, you know disturbing her sleep as well so the therapist guides her through exposure therapy so gradually exposing her to social situations telling her to go and give the presentation however it may be it, you might be rejected you might lose it whatever happens you have to go and give this is a gradual thing and providing coping mechanisms to deal with her fear so if you have a fee, um, fear of rejection or judgment you are just facing it and just seeing that is really matlab my fear true are people really rejecting me or judging me or they are um, okay about it so medication and uh, we are again we are skipping the medication part so lifestyle changes so we advise strawberry to implement some lifestyle changes you know to enhance uh, the anxiety management and uh, you, you know uh, this as this is a professional problem she might also be advised to go to attend workshops on you know assertiveness training to build confidence and improve communication skills we can do it on job skills are also there in the lifestyle changes and uh, you know uh, she we uh, she also likes you know local art groups so she joins there which helps her express herself she can do whatever in whatever way she can express herself creatively in you know um and you know she can express herself uh, by this means she can express herself in the work environment which offers a supportive environment next is same the supporting network and uh, the strawberry here joins a support group for individuals with anxiety disorders this group provides her with a sense of belonging and understanding among peers who can relate to her experiences they can co- they can you know collectively manage their anxiety by the coping mechanisms and the skills and the therapy provided there so this is the second case study so uh in this way uh you know it is managed and give you another case study of 
you know this uh, let's presume uh, this client's name is pencil so pencil is a 40 year old high school teacher who has been experiencing generalized anxiety disorder for several years now he often worries you know he his his worries often focus on his family's safety and health this person is this case is different how it is different because pencil is worried about the family's safety and family's health he is always worried about family's safety and family's health this worry is irrational are mere bachchon ko kuch ho jayega mere patni ko kuch ho jayega unka tabiyat bigad jayega wo unko infection ho jayega ya fir unko chalte chalte unka accident ho jayega hamesha uske man mein yahi chinta hai so uh, pencils uh, generalized anxiety disorder management plan includes several you know like psychotherapy first here also what we do is uh, pencil starts the cbt here cognitive behavioral therapy with a therapist then he learns to recognize and challenge his anxious thoughts related to family's well-being what we do is we sit i will uh, one day show you what um, how um, you know a full cycle of therapy is done in, with uh, practical so you will understand it better what we do is we help him recognize and challenge his anxious thought related to his family's well-being so he is always worried about his family's well-being he is made to realize he uh, that uh, his worries are irrational this is what we have to uh, do that this worry is irrational so it is not realistic it is unreal so the therapist teaches him relaxation techniques to manage his anxiety during challenging times and there are some self care practices pencil uh, you know integrates his self care practices you know he is uh, he dedicates his time to hobbies such as gardening and reading and spending a quality time with the family sometimes what we do is we call the family members and do a group therapy session for the uh, client and the family members because when they interact what happens is that he doesn't the, the, the client sometimes don't interact with the family members about whatever the anxiety or the worry they have so we make uh, them interact and uh, you know all these uh, give uh, gives the pencil that sense of fulfillment and you know relaxation when he finds um, when he develops when the person develops new hobbies and uh, spending time with the family here so pencil uh, we uh, sometimes what happens is in some of the cases uh, we practice gratitude and journaling writing down everything writing down the fear and thoughts journaling is very important in every in managing every mental health disorder when you write down your fear and thoughts and you when you go to your core belief then you understand that these fears are unrealistic so focusing on positive aspects of his life what are the positive things that are going on uh, in life rather focusing on what would go wrong the worst case scenario focusing on what is going right in life now so this this helps in counterbalancing the worries so being grateful for whatever you have rather than worrying of the worst case scenario that this can happen to family that can happen to family next is building resilience so um in this case resilience building is important like in the previous case uh, what we did is uh, the trainings are important the communication training the assertiveness training and the trainings in how to communicate is important was important in those in the second case in the case of strawberry in case of pencil here pencil attends workshops on resilience and stress management learning techniques to bounce back from challenging situations if at all if at all let's presume if at all his worry is for real that his family is in danger so uh, what happens is uh, when he attends the workshop he will know the problem solving skills that is how to bounce back from the challenging sh- situations and cultivate you know emotional strength next is the support network 
so support network is same for uh, you know everybody like pencil confides in his spouse and close friends first start sharing and expressing yourself it is the first step in the treatment you know that offers emotional support and reassurance during the times of you know heightened anxiety if you share something with your closed and trusted ones you know it will give you a sense of emotional support and and reassurance during uh, times of heightened anxiety so like this uh, he can join the support groups you know uh, having the anxiety support group so that she can share their experiences they can deal uh, with their problems collectively coping strategies and in this way they are uh, you know pencil is not isolated he knows that many people have this problem and there is a solution for the problem so here what we did is in each case study in the generalized anxiety disorder management plans are personalized to the individual unique uh, needs and circumstances this i have already say, uh, told you that it uh, every plan or uh, every uh, you know gad management from differs from person to person it is always customizable it is the combination of treatments that is psychotherapy lifestyle changes support network nutrition and skill development problem solving strategies all you know uh, help uh, the uh, per people gain better control over their anxiety and improve their overall well-being and enhance their quality of life so it's important to emphasize that seeking uh, you know professional help and adhering to the treatment plan are crucial steps in managing gad effectively i hope um, you know i could um, uh, give you a brief that is uh, how to in brief that how is cbt done how is therapy done and uh, how do we manage situations and um, it is a process it happens gradually it may take several weeks of you know uh, counseling and uh, therapy uh, but uh, what happens is once it is uh, long lasting once you are done with your therapy next um, most probably if you are um, if your therapist can identify the root cause and deal with the root cause next you will not have the a uh, problem so this uh, is the management of GAD in brief. There ends the GA. This ends the session. On this note, we are ending this session today. So thank you for staying tuned. And uh, let me know what you think of the session in the comment section below. So thank you and namaste.